Good evening. Let's learn inflections. What are inflections? And how do they help us in our pronunciation? Let's know what inflection is. Inflections are suffixes we use for a word to make it fit a grammatically correct application. These inflections usually come at the end of a word. Unlike other theories of pronunciation, this is quite easy as we have some clear rules pertaining to how to pronounce a word with these suffixes. Now let's see uh, in rule 1 uh, what are the things we are going to learn. You can see that the words like address, excuse, brush, judge, package, catch. Let's learn the rule. Yes or ears forming the plural or the third person singular will always sound like is. When the last sound of the singular noun is yes, z, sh, j, j, ch. Now, when coming to s, dress, whenever you add es to that, it sounds as is, dresses, dresses, prize, prizes. Then coming to the next sir sound, excuse the sound, excuses, excuses, sure sound, brush, brushes, j, judge, judges, package, package, packages, catch. Catches. Uh, this is how the inflections help us. Now, rule two. Yes or yes do always sound like Z, Z when the sound of the singular word ends with B, D, G, Y, D. V, M, N, L, etc. Let's see some of the words. Bomb, bombs, pad, pads, plug, plugs, employee, employees, blow, blows. Pain, pains, window, windows, breathe, breathes. So, this is how form, forms. This is how the Z sound is heard at the end of these words when Yes or yes form to these words is added. Coming to rule 3. Step. Taste, bluff, make, birth. Now let's see what is the rule for this. Yes or yes do always sound like sir when the sound of the singular word ends with per, ter, fer, ka, her, th. So here whenever you have yes form to this or es form, it goes with the soft sound s. Steps, tastes, bluffs, makes, births, s. Soft sound. Then coming to rule 4. Here you have want and assist, connect. Add. When the final sound of the word is T or D, whenever D or ED form is 
an inflection and the inflection is pronounced as id such as want wanted end ended whereas whenever the ending is d or ed and it goes like id when the last sound of the present tense verb is t or d present verb assist present verb connect present verb add present verb whenever this is like made past tense now assisted connected added so whenever you have t or d at the end when you add uh, d or ed to that word and the sound the inflection goes like id wanted ended assisted connected added then coming to the next rule s face soft sound dump p park k bluff f flash sh switch ch these are whenever you have these sounds at the end of the word and you add ed or d form to this the inflection goes with the sound t it goes with the sound of t face when you add d to it i faced i faced a difficult situation faced t t sound face faced not d t that d you add there gives you the sound of t faced dumped park i parked my bike park parked bluff bluffed flash flashed switch switched switched so ask if you take ask asked t so whenever you have s sound p sound k sound and f sh ch at the end of the word and you add d or ed form to that it sounds with t t sounded like mixed remarked switched cuffed so these are some of the sounds that might help you to improvise your pronunciation i want you to have a reading practice of this making a note so that whenever you read uh, you will be cautious of these already we have learnt one more uh, what is that the other uh, form of it is like you have learnt uh, when to use the and the the he is read as the whenever the word begins with a consonant and the he is read as the whenever the word begins with vowel sound vowel sound the r i started my journey the honor i was bestowed the honor the desktop is plain the desktop the class is about to end the information the information this is how uh, i want you to develop your pronunciation hope this class helps you to improvise your pronunciation thank you all happy learning